Hey, this is Brian with TCI. This month, we're going to cover hidden gems in our slideshows, including a new feature for restarting slideshows, best practices for lock slides, and how to assign parts of the slideshow for easy classroom management. So let's dive in. We have a great new slideshow restart feature by popular demand. When you're guiding a class, you can add sample answers, of course, to your notebook. And as you do, just like the students, it's going to save it automatically. But now you can start fresh for each class by just simply refreshing the slideshow like this. Now, this was already available in our video activities, and now it's available in other lesson slideshows, too. Last month, we mentioned the lock slides feature in our video activities. I'm here to give some updated tips to go with that. One of the features that you're going to want to learn how to be able to do is to override conditions that you may have on a slide. So let's say that you don't want any slide conditions preventing students from moving ahead. Well, now you can just simply overwrite it right here. You can also edit the slideshow to make slides locked or unlocked yourself through updating the conditions. To do this, follow these steps. First, edit a slideshow or make a copy of it, giving it a name. Now, remember, when you do this, it doesn't overwrite the original. It makes a copy that lives in the My Slideshow area of your lesson overview page. Second, Open the slideshow in edit mode. Third, pick the slide that you want to begin conditions with. Let's say I only want students to be able to advance the slideshow if they've answered all the questions on the slide. Near the bottom left, click the slide conditions. You can see that I currently have zero conditions set for this slideshow. Next, click add a slide condition. In my case, I'm going to select the second option on if. If a student answers all the questions on this slide, and then I'm going to complete the other half, select the then half, I'm going to say unlock access to the next slide. And then I'm going to click save. Now, I don't want to have to do this over and over again for each slide. And thankfully, we've made it easy to do this. Just hit the copy symbol and copy this action to all the slides that you want. In my case, I'm going to copy it to all the slides that have notebook questions. And that's it. Now when you assign the custom slideshow to your students, they will encounter the slide conditions that you've set. You can test it yourself just by presenting the slideshow. And don't forget, you now know also how to overwrite it and restart it if you need to. Slide conditions is a new feature still and we'll be rolling out across our video activities along with other updates too, so stay tuned. On to other tips, such as assigning parts of the slideshow. In case you missed it, you can easily assign parts of the slideshow now. This is a great way to break up the classroom activity. You can assign the preview for Monday and the first part of the activity for later in the week if you want. Now to do this, you create the assignment and then use the checkboxes to select the parts of the lesson that you want to assign. There are plenty of ways to use TCI slideshows to offer a great experience for your students. We're also constantly innovating slideshows to make sure that you have the latest features to engage students. So stay tuned to hear more about releases and happy teaching.